This is Artifacts of Mars. There's an update. This is a local thing, but don't think that it can't go national. Uh, we have a number of school districts here, basically in the Rochester region. And what the school districts are doing is they are complaining that private schools, these are Christian schools, are able to compete in Section 5 playoffs. That's sports. I don't know anything about it. They don't want them in postseason competition. Now, why is this important? Well, here's the thing. For one thing, this is anti-Christian bigotry. Don't fool yourself. I think anti-Christian bigotry is the biggest part of this. But there's another issue is that these people are vying for control and they these uh, leftists in schools would love to eliminate uh, Christian schooling altogether because it's avoiding it's about avoiding state control. You know, see Muslim schools. So I'm just going to say Christian schools. Remember, I'm an agnostic, but I can foresee a day. If we let them get away with this, that, uh, you know, if a kid's in a Christian school, they might not be able to uh, do much of anything. They might not be able to, for instance, mingle with students from other schools. You think that can't happen in this country? I got news for you. Take a look at this. This is like from the 1950s or whatever. You know, this was a disgraceful period in our history where, you know, blacks didn't have the same rights as uh, whites did. They didn't have to drink in, from separate drinking fountains, which today we would see as completely absurd but back then it was, it was accepted and now we have these schools uh, saying the same basic type of thing different situation but it's the same basic type of thing about uh, Christian schools we don't want them to uh, we don't want to have anything to do with them. They can't play in our sports because they're Christians and they're a private school and it's just not fair to us. Oh, horse hockey. The group has a Monroe County Council of School Superintendents represent schools which are members of the Monroe County Public School Athletic Conference it includes Pittsburgh, Fairport, Gates, Chilai, Rush Henrietta, Brockport, and others. That's that paragraph right there. Group has asked New York State Public High School Athletic Association if Section 5 can change the structure of its post season competition, which includes sports teams at Aquinas, Batavia, Notre Dame, Bishop Kearney, Our Lady of Mercy, McQuaid, Jesuit, and other non-public schools and region. I think a large part of this is jealousy because they're getting their butts kicked and a large part of this is bigotry as well as near as I can tell so 
I think this is utterly disgraceful. The superintendents are a loser. Jobs. Of course they won't. I mean, you can't show uh, racial bigotry, but you can't show anti-Christian bigotry. And that's what this is. I'm calling the shots as I see them, and I won't apologize. This is absurd. It's ridiculous. I might do some calling around. I'm a little bit angry about this. But here's the thing. You know, do you want to... If you're a Christian, do you want to be told that you can't drive down public roads? I mean, what happens when you have... Not to change the subject too much, but... Uh, what happens when you're sitting in a red light and you have a couple of Christians in the back of the car praying and somebody overhears them and says, oh, you can't do that on a public road. You're going to give them a ticket? Think it can't happen? I got news for you. It can. I don't care if public schools teams are getting their butts kicked. That's not my problem. But, as far as I'm concerned, uh, they're not willing to compete, and um, they're not going to turn out uh, very good athletes or students, now are they? And that's about it. This has been your morning update. Not sure what category I'm going to put this in. Probably why Johnny can't read, but we'll see. It might go in the mental disorder liberalism category. We can go either way with this one. I am Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching. Remember, liberalism is a mental disorder.